It's time to catch up with my Finnish colleague Tommy now, who is with Sampo Korkela to talk about publishing from InDesign to mobile. Hey, I hear the voice of a preacher from the back room. Call him a name and I follow just to find you. I trace the faith to a broken down television. I want to get better. Thanks, Iona. And we are here in Helsinki at our training partner, Corellia. And with me is Sampo Korkela, and he's a really hardcore designer and a trainer. And he's going to tell about some new features in the InDesign October release. The October release packs a wealth of new features. And well, Sampo, what's your favorite feature with InDesign CC? Well, Tommy, uh, I think the most favorite feature is uh, this uh, new EPUB uh, fixed layout mm -hmm. and I believe it's uh, it's uh, something that we have really waited for it's a uh, it's a uh, earlier we had only uh, flowable EPUBs and uh, it gave us only text based books but now we, we can really do really nice looking interactive uh, picture books uh, with a whole lot of different kind of uh, features like animations, buttons, uh, hyperlinks, or almost uh, all the same things like uh, DPS can do. So I think that's the, my, my favorite thing in this new release. Yeah, and it's a it's, it's a really big thing for, um, let's say, if you publish uh, picture books or children's books and textbooks. So when you can incorporate all those interactive features and export them in a format that opens in, uh, in a, a lot of uh, devices. Mm -hmm. So EPUBs, they, of course, they work with, uh, with iPads, yes. of course, and, uh, and correct me if I'm wrong, but there, there is a compatible EPUB reader for almost every device out there at the moment. Yes, uh, Android, Windows, all the main main uh, devices, they have uh, really good uh, readers at the moment. And uh, especially th this year, it's, it's brought many good readers to the markets. And they, they support EPUB 3, which allows this uh, fixed layout format. Uh, can you show us some of the uh, some of the new features in InDesign that help with the EPUB publication? Okay, uh, here I have a book. It's a picture book uh, about uh, photography, very much photographic book, uh, uh, and uh, it's a spread spread based. And uh, for example, here you can see this uh, text frame. It doesn't have any any fill color in it and I'm going to add a new animation to it so it, that it will fly in from, uh, from uh, outside of the page to the page. So this animation panel here, uh, it now supports EPUB format. Uh, it used to support uh, and it still does support uh, SVF files, 
So those were actually flash animations. They were flash animations, uh, but uh, flash animations didn't work in these new devices like iPads and Android and uh, Microsoft tablets. But now these uh, HTM5 format animations, they are supported. And uh, now I can use these uh, ready-made preset animations. Uh, I'm going to add a new, new one to this object, fly in from left, like that. And then I'm going to preview it inside InDesign. I have here EBUB interactivity preview panel. And you see, here's the spread. And I'm going to play preview. And when I arrive to the page, I will see this element fly in to the page. And that's not a picture, so that's text actually. It's actually text and I can uh, search it, I can uh, select it. And uh, here you can see I, I select the text. Mm -hmm. And it's all searchable, all pure text. Yeah, and what I like about EPUB is when I read a book and I can, I can select a piece of text and search for a meaning for it or make a note on that page. So that is possible even though it's animated, right? That's true, I can do it uh, in my iPad also. And here you can see this, uh, this animation. Uh, it's uh, vector-based, so it's not an image. And it's searchable. I can select the text, copy it, share it, get the definition for it. So I can use all the functions that uh, EBUB readers they, uh, support. Okay, so what also we have in InDesign is a way to produce uh, digital magazines, and it's called a digital publishing suite. Yes. So, what do you see? Where do you see the uh, the line between when you should publish using DPS? So, what's the difference between these? Yeah, two? what's the difference between publishing to DPS and publishing to EPUB? Well, the functions that you can use in in them, like uh, interactivity, they are very close uh, uh, now when we have this uh, fixed layout interactive EPUBs. So I think the difference comes when you start to share your publications. You can, you can use uh, DPS for magazines and uh, corporate publications and uh, usually like subscription-based publications and it's very great for that. Uh, EPUBs, fixed layout EPUBs, uh, they are very great in books, and uh, I'm, I'm looking forward f uh, for seeing these uh, used in uh, education, uh, school books. They are made for EPUBs, and uh, already we see very great uh, uh, publications done with the uh, EPUB 3 format. So when you produce your publication with the digital publishing suite, it becomes an application. Yes. And when you do an EPUB, that's a file yeah. that is read with the EPUB reader yeah. on whatever device. Yeah. That, that's the, one of the main differences. And uh, you can share your uh, EPUB files through your own websites, or then you can use commercial stores like Apple Store or Google Play and uh, many other. And, uh, but you can also do it for free with your own, own, own site. Uh, and uh, DPS applications, there are always apps that you download from those Apple Store, uh, Google Play, and uh, Microsoft Store. And, uh, and uh, content goes through Adobe server always. So, so you can do also free stuff with EBOB, and that's, that's a very great thing. Okay, and uh, you've been at, in the publishing business since 1997, right? Well, yes. And uh, I used to do uh, CD-ROM 
multimedia at 90s and uh, these are pretty much the same so so if the people who, who who have done that they they feel very comfortable with all these uh, things and uh, using video animations uh, hyperlinks all that thing it's it's already done 20 years ago yeah and i'd say i remember those times as well and uh, i'd say it's quite a lot simpler these days. Yes, a lot, lot more. Deep. You don't have to code anything. All the, all those tools that, uh, that are in, in InDesign and, uh, and for example, you can use uh, also edge animation. It's very, very easy to use uh, animation tool. And uh, compared to those days, it's, it's so, so much better, better now. Yeah, and you can use full res video, even oh, oh, even four yes. K video yeah, these days. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so that's about everything from here in Helsinki and Corelia, and uh, back to you, Iona. Bye okay. bye. Bye bye. We really want to hear from you, so take part in our Twitter competition by sending in a creative tweet to tell us about your top Creative Cloud features. Our Adobe panel of judges will select their favorite tweet from each Northern European country, Denmark, Sweden, Norway, Finland, and the UK. The winners will receive a 12-month membership to the Creative Cloud. But not only that, the overall tweet from all the regions will win a Microsoft Surface Pro 3. So get posting your tweets using the hashtag create now. The competition is open from midday on the 10th of November till midnight on the 13th of November. And you can see full details, terms and conditions at this URL. Good luck.